Hey y'all, uh, just a little quick update. Um, and <laughs> there's not really anything to update you on, um, except for probably, yeah, there is some stuff. Um, but before I get into that, um, I actually, did anybody else notice yesterday, Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, November 13th, was anybody else under attack? <laughs> It seemed there was, uh, I don't know, it was just very, um, there was a lot of heaviness from a lot of directions. And when that happens to me, I turn into a um, not very friendly person. <laughs> it was like I was overwhelmed by uh, angst uh, from just numerous directions um, uh, not numerous directions all all directions it involved just just about everything everything um, <laughs> that we know <laughs> and this is how I know it was a spiritual attack because I kept going I need to read the word I need to read the word I need to read the word and when I got up this morning, had I read the word yesterday? No. no, I didn't. And as I was praying and uh, writing my letters <laughs> to Abba this morning, uh, I had to repent because I, I really had tried. I, I had tried, <laughs> which is <laughs> I attempted to handle it on my own. And as those of you who um, actually spoke with me yesterday, and there were numerous people, uh, you might have discovered that uh, <laughs> that is not a good way <laughs> to deal with these things. Um, so uh, I am going to do that today. I'm going to do that next. Maybe I should have done it first and then come to y'all but I wanted you to know that so far so far in this day uh, beginning with repentance for my angst and worry and fear and anger I was angry I was just angry at everything part of it is the wind the wind I'm like um, it feels like uh, January did. I spent a lot of last January just kind of holed up in here. It wasn't that it was so cold outside, except for the wind. And um, even today, um, it's just, and it's not just a, it's a steady coming in my windows, blowing the curtains. So I got my door covered here with a blanket, and it's blowing in because uh, it's coming from that direction, which is east, northeast, and uh, it's a little chilly. And today, we are covered in clouds, and uh, there's no way of getting a, a real weather report to let me know what that is. I tried all summer. It would be all cloudy and stormy, and I'd go look at the weather, and, and clear skies. Sorry, I need some coffee here. Mm. I took some of my oils. Uh, frankincense and uh, that usually helps me calm down and focus um, so that I can read and uh, so I thought I'll take that few minutes while it's distributing <laughs> and calming me down before I go to the word and I wanted to encourage you because a few days late uh, not later a few days ago there's a young homesteading girl and she had put out the most beautiful devotion. And, and and if I was a good speaker, which I'm not, I'm a good reader. I have to write it first, and then I can get it across. But she, she was just filled with the Ruach, and it poured out of her beautifully. And it applies. I need to go back and watch it myself. So I'm going to put a link down below to that devotional. Um, and it was just, she spoke my heart. 
she spoke a lot of the things that I write about and a lot of times I'll I'll, I'll write a paragraph and then I write more and ramble 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 and then there's another paragraph and uh, and sometimes it all comes out in one piece but the times that it comes out in pieces is <laughs> it's kind of like a squirrel report <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I know that's not always entertaining to everybody, but um, today, uh, Squirrel, there's a trip into Ajo uh, that I have avoided as long as I can. I am officially wearing the only clothes that are clean, <laughs> and so I have to go. Um, and the uh, second thing is that I can't drive my truck there. Um we did major work, major work. It's called a top end overhaul on my truck. And there is there was something amiss before, and that same thing is amiss now. And so today we will have a scanner thing that reads what the codes are. And so there's some few things that will probably help. Um, because the major stuff is done, and it would run beautifully, except for that thing, whatever that thing is, and we're going to find that out today. Um, and what else? Um, the camper um, is mostly done, all the woodworking. I still have yet to uh, do the solar, and it will be installed um, soon. And then there is an upcoming... Uh, Thanksgiving, maybe around Thanksgiving uh, trip, camping trip that I'm going to take and I'll take y'all with me. <laughs> Yay! Um, and I would like to say how grateful I am for these beautiful fingerless gloves that my friend sent me. I love you. <laughs> we email. She doesn't comment, but she emails me beautiful, beautiful, encouraging words on a regular basis and she sent me these. They're wool. New Zealand wool and they are just the perfect thing right now because uh, yeah it's that cold um, no it's not 30 and no it's not snowing and no I'm not under a winter storm warning like they are in Newcastle Virginia uh, where I used to live and I'm very grateful for that <laughs> but 50 degrees when just a few weeks ago it was a hundred degrees that's a big temperature drop and um, so anyway, I have rambled on enough. I just wanted to say hi. I wanted to say I love you. I wanted to remind you as you watch to pray and to read the word. Now, the girl, the video I'm going to give you, um, she talks about reading the Psalms. And it got me through, oh gosh, I started doing it when I was like her age. I was in my uh, 30s. And she says it differently, but what I do is I read the psalm for whatever the date is. So today is the 14th, and then you add 30 to it, and you read a psalm, let's see if I can do the math, Psalm 14, Psalm 44, 74, 104, 134. And if you do that every day for a month, you read through all the psalms, and in when you are seeking wisdom, where do we go? We go to the Word. So Proverbs has 31, 31 chapters. So pick your day and read Proverbs 14. So there you go. I love y'all. I hope you have a wonderfully beautiful day in the snow, in the cold, in the warm, in the sun, wherever you are. I love y'all.